This is Whiskey Happens. That's Travis. I'm Garrett. Uh, today we are talking about Still Austin's Bottled and Bond series, at least the first part. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Spring and fall, red corn, high rye. Summer and fall. Summer and fall? Summer. Summer and fall. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to this. I think that John and I, or Spooky, Went to the distillery when the red corn had relatively just dropped, yeah. tried it, uh, liked it uh, enough to where we wanted to get a bottle. Unfortunately, it was Sunday, and you can't buy whiskey or any spirit on Sunday in Texas. No, no. Uh, so John went back the next day. I, I went back like a week later. Or I didn't go back. I went to Specs. But anyway, so now we've gotten high rye. We figured we should talk about it. If you guys like this video, we'll we'll capture the other two at some point. Yeah, I said capture. <laughs> <laughs> they're gotcha. loo they're loose in the wild. <laughs> no, uh, but I'm excited. Um, Garrett actually, um, I was gonna pick up the red corn, hadn't gotten around to it. He brought it to me for my birthday uh, in August, and we just popped it um, because he talked really highly about it, and I was like, well, I haven't popped it yet. I didn't want to, and then he went and got this. Uh, delicioso bottle of the high ride i'm bringing them to the dark side slightly but we'll see um let's get into the uh the summer the so red corn red corn i think it's jimmy red corn they call it I, I know it's on the bottle yeah jimmy red corn jimmy no clue what that means uh like we said before these are bottle and bond so 100 proof one distillation series hence why fall summer mm -hmm. winter Spring, um, or I assume that that's what they're going for. I actually do not know this. Oh, it's very sweet. Light rice spice. Yeah, a little uh, bit of, I'm getting like a little bit of like uh, those uh, candy red hots right off the nose. Mm -hmm. So that cinnamon, I get kind of a cinnamony like spice to it. Yeah, almost a... Uh, Almond as well. Nutty. Nutty. Let's, go with that. Uh, let's get this taste. Yeah. Now, see, for me, that, that cinnamon you were saying was coming through on the palate. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's because you said Red Hots, but Red Hots is definitely what I'm feeling <laughs> uh, right now. Red corn, Red Hot, you never know. Yeah. Maybe that's what Jimmy did. I mean, more of the bacon spice anise for sure, nutmeg. Um, I get, you know, you get, it's interesting with the red corn. So the red corn definitely, um, it doesn't to me taste like anything else that has come out of still Austin. And um, this one in particular, it's, um, I'm getting kind of like a peppermint patty finish. Uh, I really like the overall flavor of this. It's, it's not harsh. You know, a lot of things that come out of Texas, it's very spicy. It's very, you know, astringent at first. I don't believe that at all. And then it opens up. I don't up. believe that at all. Well, that's just Texas me. whiskey is fantastic. Fantastic. Didn't, didn't say it was bad. I'm actually starting <laughs> to really love it. I've got a nine banded in there that I just absolutely can't stop drinking. That and the Milliman Green. Oh, uh, the Milliman Green, yeah. Um, it's interesting because once you said, I think you're just in my head right now. Once you said peppermint, I was like, oh, this does taste like a York peppermint patty. Yeah. Um, very velvety, chocolately, mm -hmm. uh, peppermint, like you but said. It, but it gives it that, you know how like when you eat a peppermint and it's the peppermint patty, you get the chocolate. And then all of a sudden when you breathe, it's kind of that cool air you feel like coming out, you know, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what I'm getting right now. And that's what really kind of drives it home for me. Yeah. I, I, I really. It's an interesting note. Obviously, uh, I have had this before, but I'm not sure if I noticed that the first time. Uh, John, let me know in the comments. Um, you have a great memory, as well better than mine, uh, to what I originally thought. But I feel like that peppermint thing is new to me right now. Mm -hmm. No, um, it's, it's beautiful, though. The taste, the finish. Um, I'm really impressed with this one. If you're saying the next one's better than this one, I'm very excited. Uh, and a beautiful color on this, uh, burnt orange. I'm not even sure if that'll be picked up at all, but a uh, rich color. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's uh, check out this high rock. Mm. Oh. 
So, um, wow. This one has a, a scotch more ethanol uh, than the other, which is funny because the red corn we just opened moments before filming. You know what's funny though is this is very butterscotch heavy. It's very um, rich. It's richer than this on the nose. Like smelling this, that was a little spicier, a little, little had a little bit of sweetness. This is a lot, and it being a high rye, it's interesting. It's I get a very very sweet nose, which I love. But. Yeah, I'm I'm getting cherries, um, cherries, caramel. There's a, a small grass note, but I think that for me that's just the rye. I don't I don't. It's not unpleasant. Yeah. But uh, a fresh field. That's <laughs> what I'm getting. Let's get into this. All right. God, that is so different from the other one. That is massively different. See, when I have this, that first taste, I'm really getting like something when I'm drinking a, um, like a Jack Daniels product. I get kind of the Jack Daniels flavor to me off of this, but that's just me. That is just him. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to agree. It's fine. It's my taste. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna let you have that. Thank I'm you. Going, I have never. Uh, and maybe it's because I've just been drinking a lot of Jack Daniels Rise recently. It could be that, but that's just what I'm getting. It's. Uh, I'm getting honey. I'm getting a little bit of fig, but I'm also getting really kind of peanutty like. I don't know. It's just, it's a very unique taste. It's something I definitely wouldn't have thought about when picking up, when drinking something from Still Austin. Let me put it that way. Yeah, I, I do agree with you. It's, it's very rich. There is a, I was going to say honeysuckle. Mm -hmm. um, honeysuckle, caramel, um, Asian pear note, and maybe a tinge, a tinge of peanut. But, um, and this isn't my first time with this, as Travis stated before. So uh, I've really been holding back my thoughts because he already knows what my thoughts are. Mm -hmm. uh, but my initial impression of this is that, like, for sure, this is one of my top five for this year. I'm going on record. It's a fact. Uh, still Austin knocked out of the park for me on this one. I, I think, like, if, if you can get it, get it. It, you will not be disappointed at all. Um, Still Austin also does the artist, uh, which is their rye. And I love that. Uh, it was the first rye I had. It's like 99% a rye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, I don't have a problem drinking it at all. They give it to you at the distillery. Uh, I forgot if you sent me a handshake. I did. Okay. Travis sent me a handshake and loved it. Yeah. I'll link that uh, episode. Yeah, I think I think they knocked it out of the park, especially too for the season they dropped this in. You know, a lot of times when they drop bottles and they say, "Oh, this is a summer bottle, this is a fall bottle," I'm not always a hundred percent behind of when I would actually drink that. This one for sure is that kind of fall feeling you get, especially which is funny because fall is so different here in Texas <laughs> than it is everywhere else. But I look at myself thinking. Getting a little bit crisper weather, 50, 60 degrees outside in a sweater or one of our long sleeve or one of our long <laughs> sleeve shirts. Um, and having this um, by a fire. I think that would be and so I'm excited now if they come out with the winter, if that's the thing we're gonna do summer, fall, winter, and then spring. I'm excited to see what the winter the winter's gonna have to be much richer, in my opinion, because it's gonna be like Christmassy time, you would think it's going to be more heavenly, like chocolates and, and tobacco and just very more rich. But I don't know how much more rich you can get in that. That's just really good. It's very decadent. Uh, decadent's a great word. And, and there's a, 
I'm not sure if I have enough left and can't even tell if you guys actually can see it. But it's like a deep amber color on this mm -hmm. that is just remarkable. I mean, it's almost like a foliage color. Yeah. You know? Uh, not to say whiskey doesn't naturally lend itself to those colors, but we're being thematic, right? This is the fall release. These are fall colors. Uh, you know, let me have this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but once again, very impressed with the two that are, have come out this year from them. Um, I would say if your stores might still have some of these lying around, they might have the red corn. Grab it. You won't be disappointed with this. This is a new release. If it's in your store, grab it. I would say price point. I mean, it's not the cheapest bottle, but it's also not the most expensive. I think it's in that kind of ballpark range where most of the stuff is nowadays. 60 to, 60 to 75, 80. 80, 80 bucks. Yeah, 60, 80 bucks. $80. Yeah. MSRP, $80. Yeah, uh, so there are some, up there. some places where you can find it a little bit cheaper, but if you get it from a distillery in most places, it is seventy nine ninety nine. Um, Go to Specs, get your discount if you use your debit, or, or debit card or cash. If you're in the Texas area. If you're in the Texas area. I think that'll do it for us with Still Austin. Uh, I would say I can't say one is that much better. I think that they're both equally good. But, but he currently has the high right in his hand. He has not picked up the red corn again. So I'm just, I'm just saying. You guys can watch the footage back. He stopped drinking it. One of the best of 2023. Okay. Guarantee you this is on Fred's list this year. Guarantee you. That's right, Frederick. <laughs> you heard it here, Frederick. Uh, uh, all right. Well, first drink of the day. <laughs> oh, man. Well, if you like it neat on the rocks or in a Coke, whiskey happens. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.